Welcome to the video. So if your Chromebook is feeling a bit bloated or not quite as snappy as it once was, here are five quick steps to help improve its performance. Watch until the end as the last step is a bit of a hack to automate some of the prior steps. So the first step, we're going to see if we have the memory saver turned on. So come into your Chrome browser, click on the menu icon in the top right corner, select settings down at the bottom. And then if you type in saver, you should find this result for the memory saver. So this is going to help free up memory from inactive tabs. So it's just going to give you a bit more performance when you've got a bunch of tabs open that you aren't really using, but they will go inactive. So let's turn it on if it's not already. Even if you have got it turned on, you might have it on the default of balanced, which you might find fine, but perhaps try it on maximum, see how that is for you. Or you can always step it down if you want to moderate, depending on which way you want to prioritize things but I would definitely have this on and I'm going to give it a go on maximum at the moment. Second tip, let's look at your extensions and disable as many as we can. So come up to the top right, click on this kind of jigsaw looking piece that's the extensions link and then you can click manage extensions and we can have a look here. You're going to see all the extensions you have installed. I bet there's some in there you've forgotten about. Let me know in the comments if that's true for you as well. And then you can simply come on here and either turn them off or if you don't need them, you could go ahead and click remove. So yeah, disable as many as you can. I'm not looking too bad here and I probably want to keep some of these on, but you'll notice a real change in performance if you've got a whole bunch of extensions that you don't need. Just start by disabling disabling them or if you can be a bit more brutal just go ahead and remove them. The third step for a bit of maintenance again click on the settings menu in Chrome click on delete browsing data and we're going to clear up your cache. Now the safest way to do this I'd say with maximum effect is stick on basic drop down to all time and yeah I would get rid of your history just ensure you don't need that keep in mind it's going to go from your sync devices as well same for your cookies and site data and that is going to sign you out so if you've got any concerns take a look at that first and really your cached images and files that's going to do the most really to free up some space and get rid of some files that you just don't need that have just cached from when you've been browsing a website that you haven't been on for a while so go ahead there and just click delete data to free that up Fourth tip, let's open up the Google Play Store and see how our apps are looking. So I'm going to click on my icon in the top right there and I'm going to click on manage apps and device. Now here you're going to see two useful things. If you've got out of date apps, it's going to show you here and you'll have a link to click to update them. So you're going to see that right there. And below that, you're going to see how much space you're using up. So at the moment, I'm not looking too bad, 29 gig out of 104. But even with a lot of free space there, I would still click onto that and I would sort these in a handy way for you. So you can either sort your apps by least used or by size. Um, I'm going to go by size in this case and just see what I want to get rid of. Uh, I've got an update running through as well. But for example, if I wanted to uninstall Minecraft taking up a gig there, I'm just going to click to select it and then I'm going to click on the bin icon up here to uninstall it. And I can just go ahead and then click uninstall. Also related to free space, let's open up the files app. You can either click down in the launcher to search for it. I've got a shortcut here on my desktop. Let's maximize that and look in downloads. And again, a handy way obviously is just to sort by uh, either the size or the date modified, whatever's most useful, and just delete a few files that you don't need from there. So I'm just holding down shift, clicking on the one at the top, clicking on one below it to select everything in between. And then I'm just gonna click on the bin icon in the top right. So that's just moving it to the bin. You can of course go ahead and also empty the bin, just maybe give it a few days in case you have deleted something you need and if you click on the menu icon in the top right and you come down to the bottom here you can actually see exactly how much space there as well that you've got available on your Chromebook. For the fifth step let's just do a bit of general housekeeping and we're going to go ahead and click down in the bottom right click on the settings cog and click over here on about Chrome OS on the left. And we're just going to check that we're fully up to date with the latest version of Chrome OS. So right now I am up to date with version 131, but even if I click check for updates and you can go ahead and do that, you're either going to get an update start to download and install, or it's going to give you a message like I've got just reassuring you that your Chromebook is up to date. 
For that bonus step I mentioned, come down to the bottom right, click on the settings and start typing in power. You're going to select power wash, but it's not actually the power wash I want to talk about. It's this new feature in Chrome OS 131, the safety reset. So this lets Chrome OS take some of the decisions in terms of your extensions to disable and safely resetting other Chrome OS settings and Chrome shortcuts. So I cover this in my video showing on the right hand side of the screen for you to watch next on Chrome OS 131. That was just at the end of last year. Otherwise, the YouTube algorithm thinks you're going to like the video on the right hand side of the screen. Do let me know in the comments which of these tips helped your Chromebook's performance the most. Cheers.